Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. No, no, I, I don't want to be at the dentist. Ha, 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 ha. But you are, Molly. You are. Ha, 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 ha. Are you ready for your tooth extraction? What? She needs a tooth extraction? No! Let me go! <laughs> Too bad. Give me a second to get my evil tooth extractor. <laughs> huh, you're awfully, uh, well, full of yourself considering your teeth are yellow. Do you even brush those things? Molly, let's hurry. We gotta get out of here before that, that evil dentist steals all your teeth. Yeah, then how will you eat cheese? Oh, Cupcake, is that all you think about is cheese? Okay, Deezy, look, I found a key. Good, Molly. Now let's try to get out of you. It worked. Whoa, there's a lot of toothpaste squirted on the ground. And oh, man, it's dentures. <laughs> That's what he wanted you to have, Molly, when he extracted all your teeth. Bob's office, please knock. Okay. Why isn't it let me knock on the door? Well, maybe you just knocked, but it's not opening yet. All right, fine, I finally figured it out. You know, you don't have to be a genius to figure out how to turn the doorknob. All right, that's enough out of you, Cupcake. Whoa, spikes, oh my gosh. Molly, this dentist is seriously evil. Yes, but not all dentists are evil, just this one. Yeah, I like our old dentist, Dr. Mary. She's super nice. Yeah, me too. She's like, oh, everything's going to be fine. I'm just going to clean your teeth, and then um, you can have a super awesome sticker. And she always gives me, like, a good sticker or something. I need to have my teeth cleaned, too. You're a hamster. You don't brush your teeth. Um, well, uh, I should because I don't want all my teeth to fall out. Again, you're a hamster. Okay, um... A giant pair of teeth chasing me! Holy guacamole! That's terrifying! Alright, I hope I'm going the right way. I'm not. I'm not. The giant teeth are gonna get me! Ah! <laughs> One eyed, scary, scary monster with giant chompers gonna eat ya! Come on, Molly. I bet I know the way. I kept running so fast. I didn't have my cupcake this morning. Well, you have me, and I'm amazing. Okay, but I meant like an actual cupcake that I could eat. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm trying to remember the way already. Uh-oh, I led you astray. Sorry. Oh, yeah, and I got eaten. How nice. You escaped and I get eaten. Ah, uh, well, I may have sacrificed you to the giant teeth man monster. Gee, you think? All right, what happens if we go left? I'm going to just try going left. Oh, my gosh, he comes right out at you. Oh, wait, I think I just found the way. Congratulations, Molly! You're gonna make it! Come on, girl! <laughs> Where's the teeth monster? <gasps> he disappeared. Whoa, that's creepy. It's like a ghost teeth monster. Yeah, that was creepy. Run! Uh-oh. <laughs> I lost my head over that one. Ay, yeah, yeah, Molly. You ran right into the fan blade. What are you doing? I'm trying my best here, okay? Here we go. Whee! And go! And go! Thank goodness, I need to click save before I die again. Whoa! Oh my gosh, you kill us so many times, Molly. All right, my hamster has a definite attitude. Let me know if you guys have a pet that has an attitude. Maybe it's a cat. Oh man, I got electrocuted! Holy guacamole, my head was like flying around in outer space there. Yeah, watch out, Marty. That's definitely going to turn out to be electrified. Oh, whoa. Yeah, it totally is. Go, 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 go. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, go, Molly. <laughs> okay, I only died once on that. Well, 
I'm sure that's not the only time you're gonna die. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm perfectly awesome at obbies. Oh yeah, you can leave that if you want to. Boing, boing, boing. Whee! This part is really fun. Guys, slam the like button if you've played this game. If you haven't played it yet, you should. It is escape, uh, like Bob's Bob the dentist or something like that. Oh, I can't remember the name. Escape Bob the evil dentist. His name is Bob, okay? Yeah, Bob's evil if you haven't figured it out. Oh, wow, look at we're going so high up in the air. Yeah, we really are. Are we ever gonna get there? Okay, good. What is this place? It looks like a bunch of teeth he extracted. Oh boy, Marley fell into the lava. How did I see that coming? Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, I totally died on that one. Not even gonna lie. This part's hard though. Whoa! No! <laughs> I fell to a million pieces. Yeah, I fell to my death. Oh boy, she's gonna sing about it. I'm always singing. I feel like life is so boring if you're not singing. I like to sing. Whoa. Whoa. Congratulations, Molly. You made it. Thank you, Daisy. I worked very hard at that. Cha-ching! I just um, clicked save, which I'm very happy about right now. What? Use a cart? Yes, please. Yes. Uh, wait, why can't I get in it? Oh, I'm like laying down. I'm lazy. Well, at least you're not underneath it. Oh, my gosh. How am I even getting Ah! Oh, I'm getting hit. Oh, sorry about that, cupcake. I didn't even get a cut. I just had to run the entire way. Not all of us are lazy. Hey, they said I could use the cart. What is this? It looks like a dentist torture chamber. Look at all the soldiers with the giant toothbrushes. Okay, I just want to give a shout out to whoever created this obby, decent obbies. Uh, this is really cool. Like, you did a really good job on this game, so go you. I really am like so happy we get to put this on the channel because this is really cool. Yeah, sometimes they're really lame. Yeah, sometimes they are really lame, but not this one. Whoa, whoa. Marley, don't fall in that water. It's probably full of dentures and spit. Ew, gross. Oh, this makes you go super fast. Uh-oh. I'm burning up. Okay, I definitely got burned up. This makes you go really fast. Uh-oh, I died again. Just don't sing. I think that's what's messing you up. Be quiet and maybe you can do it. All right, you rude little hamster. Listen here. See, I'm right. You're getting very distracted. Oh, like you aren't distracted? All you do is eat cheese all day. Ooh, cheese. I love cheese. Ah! <sighs> Okay, um, turn up the music. I'm just gonna concentrate on what I'm doing. No, it didn't work. You're still talking! Quit talking so much! No, I, I can't make it! I just can't do it! Molly, you could do it. Don't listen to your rude hamster. Okay, maybe I just need to get, like, a head start. Okay, here we go. Whee! Okay, that seemed to work. If you're playing this game, you probably need a head start. Whoa. 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 Oh, I'm almost there. Oh my gosh, I just want to make it. I just, I want to survive, people. I want to survive. No! Oh, I died at the last minute! Oh, man. There's no hope for us. There really isn't. Okay, hamster. I've had about enough of you. Why don't you try it? Okay, I will. Let me be in charge of the controls next time. All right, Cupcake is going to try it this time. Let's see how she does. All right, Cupcake, let's see this. Uh, Cupcake, you're doing really good so far. Oh, too late. You died. Okay, well, I'm just getting the hang of it. Give me a second. I don't know why this part is, like, so hard for us, but... Guys, it totally is. Whoa. All right, this is the lava part. We gotta be careful here, Cupcake. Maybe if we work together, we can figure this out, Molly. Good idea, teamwork. I like how you think, Cupcake. I like how you think. Okay. Whoa. You guys made it, finally! Holy guacamole, that took forever. But don't listen to her, Molly. That part was really hard. Yeah, you're right, it was. 
All right, guys, I died again. Oh, what a surprise. Don't worry, Molly, I kind of died at that part, too. Yeah! Oh, what? Find the levers. All right, let's go do this. I found one, Molly. That was easy. I don't like that skull on the wall. That looks creepy. Okay, here's another lever. Is there a monster that's going to come out when I pull all these levers? That's the question everybody wants to know. Okay, what happened? A door opened up, Molly, and I think there's an elevator inside. No, it's just, it's just another door. How dare you try to escape me? Bob upset. Bob attack. Uh-oh. Ah! Oh, my God. Dizzy. Ah, Bob. <laughs> um, Bob, just want to let you know. You're evil. All right, let's try this again. Ah, Bob. No, seriously. We can be friends. <laughs> Never. Marley, I think we should switch Dennis and give Bob's office a one star on Google reviews. You're probably right. Wow, he's like right behind you. And there's teeth everywhere and stuff. Like, how am I supposed to get away from this guy? Holy guacamole. Let me do like an overhead look and see if it shows like how to get away from him. All right, here goes nothing. Bob is evil. Bob's no fun. Bob is evil. The fun's not beginning. <sighs> Marty, that was a weird song. Okay, I couldn't think straight because Bob was chasing me, all right? This part is very nerve-wracking. I, I, I can't see anything. I'm, like, blind in here. Okay, Bob comes from that way, so I'm assuming we can't go right. Only straight or left? All right, let's try this again. I'm so confused. Which way am I going? Okay, this way. Oh, no, not that way. Okay, it's so dark. I can't see anything. Oh, Bob! Take a hike, Bob. He got stuck on that tooth. Okay, that was helpful. All right. Oh, my gosh. Ah! Wait, did I just win? Oh, man! That was crazy. I didn't even see that. Maddie, you should save before it's too late. Oh, look at me. I'm gigantic. We're famous. Well, in this game, anyway. Oh, I finally escaped the dentist. Now I'm going to go eat some lollipops and Oreos. And Marty, you're going to get a cavity. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye, guys. I'm watching my favorite Survivor show right now. I'm so bored. There's nothing to do today. You could watch this new Survivor episode with me. It's going to be amazing. I don't want to watch Survivor. I want to do something amazing. Super fun. Can you think of anything? No. Why don't you go ask your mother? Okay. Mom! 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 You're always doing dishes, Mom. That is the most boring life in the world. I don't even know why I'm going to bother asking you if you know anything fun to do. Obviously, you don't. <laughs> you just do grown-up stuff all the time. Hey, I do fun stuff. Like, once in a while, I take a bubble bath. And um, the other day, I got a coffee from Starbucks on the way to work. Mom, that's not fun stuff. That's also boring, 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 boring! Well, Molly, if you're so bored, you could always start your homework for the school year early. What? You're quite the comedian, Mom. Actually, I'm being honest, Molly. You barely passed your reading test, and um, you're going on to the next grade, but I just want to make sure you're ready. Yeah, I, I mean, I love reading and stuff, but some of those words are really hard. Well, you could always practice them. No, not today. That sounds boring, 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 boring. Can I ask Brookie if she can come over and play? Um, yeah, I don't see why not, but don't forget, you do have to do some studying on those hard words. Yep, I hear you, Mom, someday. <laughs> All right, now, where did I leave my phone? Oh, wait, there it is. Hey, it's Brookie. Hey, Brookie, it's Molly. What's up? Oh, hey, um, what are you doing right now? Nothing. I'm so bored. Me too, Molly, me too. I was thinking you could come over and play. Or even better, maybe you could come for a sleepover. 
Oh, um, okay, let me ask my mom. Oh, you don't sound very happy about it. Don't you want to come hang out at my house? Yeah, it's just... Well, my mom doesn't always say I can come over. Actually, sometimes she makes me stay home a lot. Really? Why? My mom, mom's always like, Hey, why don't you get out of my hair? You're driving me crazy. Why don't you go to your friend's house? Why don't you go study your reading? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Just leave me alone! <laughs> Apparently, my mom finds me a little bit annoying. Okay, Molly, hold on. I'll go ask my mom. Mom? Mom? Yes, Brookie, what is it? Mom, can I go over to Molly's house and play and maybe spend the night? Please? Please, 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 please? No, Brookie. Oh. Okay, well, could Molly come here? I'll do all my chores, I promise. <sighs> okay, Brookie, I guess you can. Molly, do you think you could come over here? Dad, can I go to Brookie's house and spend the night? I don't care. Just don't interrupt Survivor. Yeah, I'll be over in about, um, 20 seconds. <laughs> Cookie's house is so much different than mine. I love it. Molly? Oh, it's you. Come on in, Molly. Hey, Brookie. Whoa, did you pack for a month, Molly? Um, I just packed a few things. And by a few things, I mean everything I own. <laughs> you never know when you're going to need it. Uh, Brookie, did you do all the chores? There's a bunch of these plants that need watering. Uh, if we're ever going to be homesteaders and grow our own food, we have lots of chores to do. Whoa, this is insane, Brookie. Your house is full of, like, your own fruits and vegetables. That sounds extremely healthy. Uh, my parents are very strict about eating healthy, Molly. We don't eat any sugar in this house. No sugar? That is the saddest thing I've ever heard. No cupcakes, no donuts, no, no cookies or, or chocolate. No, Molly, none. I'm super healthy though. I can run like 10 miles. <laughs> Who cares? You can't eat a cupcake. That doesn't sound like a good life at all. Well, Brookie, if you ever need like a candy bar or something, you can just come over to my house. Yeah, thanks, Molly. I really need to get back to my chores, though. You can put your um, bag up in my room. But only put it in the closet. My mom doesn't like clothes and stuff outside the closet. Okay. Wait, which one's Brookie's room? Oh, yeah. I don't come over here that much. <laughs> Her mom never lets us have sleepovers. La, 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 la. Hey, Brookie, you want to go swimming or something? I'm still doing my chores, um, but after I'm done, maybe. Do you want to do chores, Molly? Um, <laughs> let me just tell you something, Brookie's mom. I don't even do... Whoa, is the sprinkler system on? Sorry, Molly, I'm doing the watering. Um, I don't even do chores in my own house. <laughs> so what makes you think I want to do them here? Uh, okay, whatever. If you want to be lazy, you get an F for failure at life. Wow! Harsh! Failure at life. <laughs> Time to go swimming in the pool. Whee! Ah, that feels amazing. Molly, what are you doing? No, 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 no. You, you can't go in there. What? Why? It's a swimming pool. No, that's our drinking water. What? You drink water out of the pool? What are you guys, dogs? That's gross. Oh my gosh. I just purified that water for our plants and our drinking water. Well, Mom, Molly doesn't know that we recycle our water from the toilets. Ew! Ew! That, that's toilet water? Ew! Molly, no, we recycle it, which means we purify it and clean it so that we can water our plants and drink it and... Holy guacamole, you guys are, like, kind of hippies and stuff. Uh, yeah, um... Oh, my gosh! I'm gonna have to start the process all over! Oh, my goodness. Brookie, just go do more of your chores. Whoa! I'm sorry, Brookie. I didn't mean to get you in trouble. It's okay, Molly. My mom, she's just like, she's a strict parent. She's strict about what we eat and what we do, even with my brothers, too. Oh, I'm sorry, but this is not how my house is. My parents don't act like that, so I, I don't know how to act at your house. Should I just go home? No, I still want you to spend the night. I mean, if you want to. I don't know. I think your mom might not like me very much. No, she likes you just fine. She's just, I don't know. Um, well, a strict parent. Aw, 
Brookie, don't forget, you have to do your summer reading. Ugh, my summer reading? Don't worry, Brookie, I have to do my summer reading too. Come on, we can do it together. Really, Molly, you don't mind? Nah, I like helping out my best friend. Okay, well... Oh, don't sit on the couch, your bathing suit's wet! Oh, whoopsie, sorry, I'll be right back, gotta change. I just don't understand why we have to read this book. I think it's going to be a great book, but my mom says I need to work on some of the harder words because I barely passed my last reading test. I like to read, but some of the words are just really hard. That's when you Google them, Molly, or you use a dictionary, and it'll help you. I just hate stopping to read, um, like, read the words on Google because and what they mean because I don't want to, like, stop the story yeah but if you don't read what this words in the story mean the story won't make any sense Ugh, all this reading is making my head hurt Ugh, too much reading seriously too much we need to have a cupcake did somebody say a cupcake there are no cupcakes allowed in this house you know that brookie um i think molly was just kidding mom there's no kidding allowed either don't joke and get to bed uh, but we were just finishing up reading what we had to read for our summer reading program. Oh, my head really does hurt. I'm having cupcake withdrawals! I need them! Okay, both of you up to bed right now. You need to get at least nine hours of sleep. Okay. Come on, Brookie. We can whisper in your room. She won't hear us there. Cute PJs, Molly. You too. <laughs> I love your unicorn pajamas. Girls, it's time for bed. No more talking. Well, Molly, we better go to sleep. We can just whisper. She'll never hear us. So, Molly, is it true that you like Luke? Um, well, um, I bet you do. First love comes love, then comes... Brookie, stop teasing me! Molly, why did you yell? My mom's definitely gonna... Oh, no. Girls, what are you doing? I said go to sleep, no talking. And now I hear you yelling. I should give you both a timeout. A timeout? Uh, excuse me, Brookie's mom, but, um, like, we're both, uh, like, way too old for timeouts. Uh, my mom doesn't think so. Okay, you. Um, downstairs for a ten-minute timeout. Uh, okay, but that would mean I'd have to get out of this room, out of my, um, bed and sit down there when I should be sleeping. So is that really what you want? Oh wow, she kind of has a point. Brookie, be quiet or you'll end up in timeout. But then she won't get the perfect nine hours of sleep. Oh, both of you, just go to bed. Okay. <laughs> wow, Molly, you're totally gonna get grounded. I don't think your mom can ground me. Oh, trust me, she once grounded a naughty toddler at the grocery store or sticking its finger in the ice cream. <laughs> it stuck its finger in the ice cream? Yeah, and then it licked its finger like, mmm, that was delicious chocolate ice cream. Oh man, it's getting really late. We better go to sleep, Brookie. Yeah, exactly. We totally should. Do 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 Who is yelling so early in the morning? Molly, it's time to wake up. Come on. My mom said so. What? No, go no away. I'm tired. Do, 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 Wake up right now. Huh? What? Why are you yelling? Molly, it's just a part of our morning routine. Come on. I want you both to start on your jumping jacks. Come on, come on. And then we're going to have a green smoothie. Huh? What? I'm standing up and I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping while I'm standing up. I don't see you doing jumping jacks, Molly. That's because I'm too busy sleeping. Molly, you better do them. She will ground you. Brookie, no offense, but I'm never spending the night at your house ever again. Oh, Molly, I thought you would say that. Will you still be my best friend? <sighs> Let me just get some coffee and I'll think about that. Molly? Yes, we can still be best friends, but... <sighs> I have to go home. Your mom's cray-cray. Come back here. We didn't even have our green smoothies yet. Uh-huh, yep. Oh, wait. Where did I leave my suitcase? Don't forget your green smoothie. It's made with kale. Uh, no thank you. I'm going to have a donut from Starbucks for breakfast. What? No! That's totally unhealthy. Don't do it. Uh, wait. How do I get out of here? I need to get out of here. Because your mom is cray-cray, Brookie. Bye, strict mom. 
Wait, I could ground you, you know. You're you're still wearing your pajamas. OMG. That was the craziest sleepover at my friend's house ever. Hey, Molly. Welcome home. How was your sleepover? Where's the cupcakes? Where's the chocolate? I need all the food. I need it all right now, Dad. Um, well, there's some treats in the in the refrigerator if... Ha! Huh. Reese Cups, I missed you. I missed you! You're delicious. Mm. There's nothing like the glow of the light of the refrigerator to make you feel all better. <laughs> mm. Dad, you're the best dad in the whole world. Wow, thanks, Molly. Where'd that come from? I'm just saying, thanks for being you. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm taking this horse to school. What, what, why are you taking a horse to school? Because, Molly, it's crazy outfit day and the horse is a part of my accessories. Daisy, you cannot take a horse to school. The teacher's going to give you detention. Wait, what? She will? Yeah, of course she will. <laughs> what are you going to do? Put the horse at a desk and make it do your homework? That's not a bad idea, Molly. Daisy, lose the horse! Okay, fine, Grumpy. Well, maybe I'm a little grumpy because it's still dark outside and you woke me up for school. Seriously, the bus doesn't come this early. Well, um, I just want you to get out of bed on time because you've been late for so many times that you're literally going to have detention for the rest of your life, Molly. Do you want that? Uh, well, uh... Molly! No, I don't want detention for the rest of my life. Hey, Daisy, what do you think of my crazy outfit? Well, it's certainly crazy. What do you think of my cowgirl outfit? I think I look crazy and cute. Yeah, you always seem to be fashionable, even when it's crazy outfit day. Finally, the sun's coming up. Yeah, well, I may have gotten us out of bed just a little bit early today. You think? Oh, look who these losers are. We're not losers, Sarah. Why are you always saying we're losers? Look at how you're dressed. You have to be losers. Uh, newsflash. Today is crazy outfit day at school, so maybe you're the loser because you're not wearing a crazy outfit. Whatever. Look, I do that baby stuff anyway. Like, I don't dress up, like, for all that nonsense. It's not nonsense. The whole school does it for Spirit Week. And Molly and I just happen to be in the spirit. What are you, like some sort of like cowgirl or something? Where's your horse even? I was going to bring a horse, but Molly said... Look, I don't even care what you have to say. Ugh, this is boring. W Daisy, wait! What, Molly? What is it? You forgot to look both ways. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. It was so dangerous. What are you talking about, looking both ways? What are you, babies? Uh, no, we're safe. S Sarah, you have to look both ways before you cross a road. Oh, she'll never learn. You're telling me, Daisy, you're telling me. Wow, this test is really hard. Molly, remember, there's no talking and no cheating during the test. You don't want detention, do you? No, I wasn't cheating. I was just saying, this test is so hard, Mrs. Smith. Well, it does challenge you, I agree. I think it's pretty easy. Of course you do, Daisy. Of course you do. Whatever. This test is so hard. Where's my notes? <gasps> you can't use a note, Sarah. That's called cheating. Whatever. It's not really cheating if I took the notes. Actually, yes, it is. Daisy, is there a problem? Please stop talking or you're going to fail your test. Oh, sorry, Mrs. Smith. I can't believe she's cheating. That's so wrong. No, it's not. You're just such a baby. My sister's not a baby! Molly, no talking. Sorry, it's just Sarah! Molly, no talking. Okay, fine. Ooh, time for lunch, my favorite. Hey, Brookie, what's up? Oh, hey, Molly. I'm just so excited because today I got Doritos in my lunch. Wow, your mom's super cool. Uh, my mom always, mom always packs me just an apple or whatever. Well, sit down, Molly. You could share some of my Doritos if you want. Oh, wow, really? That's super nice of you. Yeah, why don't you share with me, as in give me the entire bag? What? 
Uh, no, sorry, Sarah. I, I didn't say I would share with you. I only have enough to share with Molly today. Maybe tomorrow. I don't want you to share. I want you to give me the entire bag of Doritos. She doesn't want to, Sarah. <gasps> Sarah, you took her Doritos! Sarah, give those back. You want them after I've chewed on them? Ew, you're gross. Why are you so mean to me, Sarah? You're always bullying me. Brookie! Brookie, wait! It'll be Brookie, come back! Oh my gosh. Oh, Sarah is so rude. Alright, I gotta go do some damage control. Brookie, are you okay? No! I wanted those Doritos. They were mine, and I'm really hungry. Well, I'll share my apple with you. You could have half of it. Thanks, Molly. It's really nice of you. But she's always bullying me, and I don't know what to do about it. We could tell the teacher. That's probably the best thing to do. Yeah, but it doesn't get my Doritos back. You know, Sarah just doesn't play by the rules. <sighs> she's so rude. But one day, it's going to catch up with her, Brookie. I hope so, Molly. I really hope so. Whoa, Brookie, you had a growth spurt. No wonder you're so hungry. I know, right? I can't get enough food lately. You're probably going to be like seven foot tall. You could be a basketball player. I love sports. That would be amazing. Come on, let's go eat my apple. Okay, Molly. Hey, where you guys been? Lunch is almost over. Well, it's a long story. Here you go, Brookie. Here's half. Thanks, Molly. But let's just say the story starts and ends with Sarah. Oh, no. What did she do now? Walk out in front of traffic, cheat on her test? No! She bullied Brookie and took her Doritos. Then Brookie cried in the bathroom. I had to give her a pep talk. And now I'm sharing my apple with her. Thank goodness I have friends like you guys. Or else I'd be hungry. Yeah, Sarah's just a bully. Someday she's going to learn her lesson. I agree, Molly. Someday she definitely will. Hey, guys, I have a great idea. What is it, Molly? While we're waiting for the school bus, why don't we play on the playground for a while? Ooh, I love that idea. Maybe it'll turn your frown upside down. It definitely did, Molly. You guys are my best friends. And we're your best friends, Brookie. Now we just have to wait for the school day to be over. Boring! Molly, maybe if you paid attention once in a while, you'd actually like the subject. Uh, probably not. <laughs> Wee! This is so much fun! I'm so glad we decided to come to the playground after school. Me too, Molly. This is so cool. Yeah, I love swinging on the swings. I haven't done this since, like, kindergarten. I know what you mean. Whoa! 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 I'm going super fast. Whoa! Molly, be careful. You're going to fall off of there. I'm going to jump. Whoa! <laughs> I actually jumped backwards. Did you guys see that? Yeah, that was insane, Molly. Maybe we should go down the slide next and go into the pool. Ow, you ran into me, Brookie. Stop running into me. Stop running into me. Um, Molly, you're standing in front of the swing. Maybe you shouldn't do that if you don't want someone to, um, like, run into you. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that's a good point. Okay, who's going down the slide first? You are, Molly, since it was your idea. No one's going down the slide because I own it. I'm going to put my name on it, like, right now. What? You don't own the playground slide, Sarah. Yeah, I do. No one's allowed to come up here. I'm coming up there. Get out of here, seriously. Sarah, get out of the way. I want to go down the slide. No, no. And let me think about it for just a second. No. Seriously, you made me wait all that time just to say no? Let me think about it again. No. Whatever, Sarah. You're so rude. Ugh, she drives me insane. I know, tell me about it. Oh man, I forgot my backpack at school. I'll be right back. Hurry up, you're going to miss the bus. Whoa, here comes the bus. Come on, we don't want to miss it. Sarah, what are you doing? You have to look both ways. Whatever, I don't look both ways. Sarah? Sarah? Oh my God, somebody call 911. Sarah got hit by the school bus. Sarah? Are you okay? Say something! It definitely hit her head! Oh my gosh, we need an ambulance! We need an ambulance! Oh my god, this isn't good. I called 911. The ambulance is on the way. Sarah! Just hold on! Hold on! 
Well, Sarah, it looks like you have a concussion, and also, your leg looks sprained. You're very lucky. I mean, having a school bus hit you, it, it could have killed you. Whatever. When can I get out of here? Uh, you definitely have to stay for the next two days for observation. We want to make sure that the concussion clears up before we send you on home. Oh, this is so annoying. Just try to relax, Sarah. I'll have the cafeteria bring you in some dinner. Sarah! Sarah, are you okay? Who wants to know? It's me, Molly. Don't you recognize me? Yeah, I just didn't want to be bothered to look at you. Oh, I'm so annoyed right now. I'm in the hospital. Sarah! Oh my gosh! I, I, I thought maybe the bus had killed you! Well, obviously not. I'm still here talking. Yeah. So, so what did the doctor say? She said, I have a concussion and I have a sprained leg, so I have to stay here for two days. Whoa! Sarah, you got lucky! You know when I said you should look both ways? And you said you don't follow the rules? And that's for babies? Yeah, I remember. Well, uh, I think you should start following the rules. What? Why? Because a school bus hit you! That's why! Why else? Ugh, I'm so irritated right now that I can't go and do what I want. Um, you would be able to do what you want if you would follow the rules. Yeah, I mean... I guess I should have looked both ways, because it did really hurt when that school bus hit me. Yeah, not to mention you scared the school bus driver half to death. She thought you were a raccoon. What? I don't even look like a raccoon. Why would you say that? Um, maybe you had some bags under your eyes or something. I do not look like a trash panda. Take that back right now. Sorry, Sarah, I can't. And you can't get out of the bed, so see you later. Molly, you come back here right now. I can't believe you called me a raccoon! Get back here! <laughs> Sarah finally learned her lesson. You should play by the rules. Especially look both ways, because, like, you know, a school bus might hit you or something. This has been a crazy day. Molly, why are you running home? You could be using your scooter just like me. Because... <sighs> I'm trying to get exercise. Why? So you can eat more donuts and potato chips? <laughs> no, because I'm going to try out for something. Really? What is it? The detention club? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> the detention club. <laughs> no, Daisy. Not the detention club. Oh, never mind. You wouldn't understand. You're right, because I don't spend any of my time in detention. Hey, Molly, how was school today? Dad, when are you going back to work? <sighs> you know I hurt my neck. Yeah, Dad, I know. You accidentally fell off the edge of the stairs outside when you were um, when you were using the um shovel to shovel off the sidewalk. Yeah, and now I can't go back to being a cop for at least another week. I miss it so much. This is what I'm watching. Oh, wow, Dad, you really do miss your job. Molly, let's play Roblox together. Can't busy. Hey, Molly, how was school? Did you get detention? Do I have to sign any papers that say you were really bad? No, I didn't do any of those things. Oh, phew. One day break from you being naughty. Yeah, Mom, um, I'm going to go outside, okay? Uh, do you have a ton of homework? I already did it. I did it in study hall. Wow, Molly, are you turning over a new leaf? Yeah, I guess you could say that. All right, Molly, well, have fun outside. Molly, it's freezing out. I can't believe you're going to... Go outside. We could be playing Roblox. Nope. Got something to do. <sighs> All right. Molly, it's time to train. I'm going to be the best basketball player in the world. Okay. I'm going to run to the end of the street and back. I have to be in good athletic shape in order to um, dribble the ball back and forth and make all the shots. <sighs> I'm out of breath, though, because I eat way too many donuts. Ooh, donuts. Molly, focus! Focus! <sighs> okay, now I'm going to take out my basketball just for the added weight. All right, I got this. All right, now I'm going to pretend that I'm actually shooting hoops because I don't have a basketball hoop in my house. Yeah! Uh-oh. It's going down the hill. <laughs> now I gotta run after it. Just kidding. I have another basketball. Woo! Oh, yeah. I'm getting good at basketball already. I can feel it. I'm gonna go see what Molly's doing, Mom. She's probably getting into trouble. 
Yeah, that's a good idea. Molly can be a bit of a troublemaker. Huh, huh, huh. Donuts. Cookies. Cupcakes. No, focus! I'm going to be the best basketball player ever. What is she doing? She's running back and forth down the street, throwing basketballs down the hill. She has totally lost her mind. Oh, no, there's Daisy. She's going to annoy me, and she's going to distract me from my training. Molly, what are you doing? Hey, are you throwing basketballs at me? Sorry, you're kind of in the way of my training. Molly, what are you doing? I am going to try out for the basketball team. Molly, you can't. Don't tell me I can't. I can do anything I put my mind to. Um, okay, Molly, if you say so. Okay, Molly, you can do this. You can do this. I have to give myself a little bit of a pep talk because I'm kind of nervous about tryouts today, but I know that I can do this. I practice so hard. I'm going to get on the basketball team. I just know it. Well, I better get to the gym. Hey, Molly, I'm here to cheer you on. I even wore my cheerleading outfit. Oh, gee, thanks. Thought you didn't think I could make it. Well, I don't, Molly, but I still want to be supportive. Uh, thanks, I guess. Well, Molly, I mean, I, I want to tell you something if you don't already know. Look, Daisy, I'd love to stand here and talk to you all day, but I'm going to be late for tryouts. But it's about tryouts, Molly. You're not allowed to try out. I can do anything I want. Watch out, Daisy. Oh, I thought she said she was going to be here to cheer me on. Great job, Dylan. Let's see your next shot. You've almost made it onto the team. Hey, thanks, coach. Wow, he looks really good. He's a lot taller than me, too. Excuse me, what are you doing in the gym right now? I'm here for tryouts. Well, they're time tryouts, first of all. Do you have a time slot? Um, yeah, no, I don't. But I I'm really good. Also, um, I don't know what you're trying out for, but you can't be here. Wait, why? Because this is a boys basketball team. What? Yeah, there's no girls basketball team in Brookhaven. And, uh, you're not a boy. Oh, um, okay. Well, um, uh, I have a brother. Yeah, that's it. And he wants to try out. Is there still time slots today? Yeah, there's one at 3.30, but he'd have to call in quick to get it. Okay, um, thanks for the information. No, girls are allowed to try out? Well, I'll fix that. <laughs> Just go into the auditorium because nobody's in here. Watch this. <clears throat> Hello, this is um Fred. Yeah, that's it. Hello, Fred. What can I do for you? Uh, <clears throat> I'd like the 330 tryout slot, please. Okay, Fred. Did you practice? Of course I did. All right, well, we'll see you at 3.30 for tryouts. Thanks, coach. Now I just have to pretend I'm a boy, try out for the team, get on the team, and become a basketball sensation. <laughs> Easy peasy. Now time to turn into a boy. Okay, let's see what I have in my backpack. I'm sure I could come up with something. Um, uh, I guess these will work. And uh, now I need a boy shirt. Um, okay, that one will work. And I need a wig. <laughs> look at me! I look like a boy! <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> Meet no longer Molly, but Fred! <clears throat> I just gotta work on making my voice sound a little bit lower. <laughs> Perfect. You are gonna get on this basketball team, Fred. Ah! There's a boy in the ghost bathroom! I'm telling! Uh-oh! Better get out of here. <laughs> Even my sister didn't recognize me. Perfect. Both of you guys have made it onto the team. Now I want you to keep doing jumping jacks for at least an hour. Oh man, maybe we shouldn't have gotten on the team in the first place. And who might you be? Um, uh, I'm Fred. I've got the 330 slot. Okay, let's see how fast you can run from one end of the gym to the other. Let's do this. Okay, uh, I mean okay. Huh really gonna wow these guys. Here we go. Whoa, Fred, you're really fast. <laughs> yeah, especially for a girl, huh? Whoa, holy guacamole, your time is awesome. 
Okay, let's see how you do with the basketball now. Okay. Um, okay. You having a little problem with your voice? Um, no, I just got a little bit of a cold, coach. All right, let's see if you can make some hoops. Oh, whoa, great job. All right, go back a little farther onto the court, and let's see if you can make a hoop from here. Ooh, you, you're, you're making a basket almost on every single turn. Holy guacamole, you're a great basketball player, Fred. Yeah, I know. I, I, I definitely should be on the team, right? Absolutely. Um, can you be here for practice every single day? Yeah, you bet I can. Okay, get over there and start doing some jumping jacks. You got it, coach. Yes, I tricked the coach and everyone else, and now I get to be on the basketball team. <laughs> Who says a girl isn't as good? Of course we are. All right, boys, let's step it up. I can't do any more jumping jacks, coach. Okay, I guess you guys are dismissed for the day. I'll see you after class tomorrow. No problem, coach. Yeah, no problem, coach. I can do jumping jacks while I leave. Okay, class is dismissed. Molly, are you coming home? I can't believe you don't have detention. Uh, no, I, I've got some things to do. Okay, well, I don't know what, but hopefully it's not trouble. It's definitely not. I'm sorry you didn't get on the basketball team, Molly. That's what I was trying to tell you. No girls allowed. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I didn't really want to be on the basketball team anyway. Okay, well, um, have fun doing whatever you're doing that's a secret. Yep. I wonder what she's doing. She can't be just doing nothing. It's Molly, so she's always getting herself into trouble. All right, time to change into my boy outfit. <laughs> I've got everyone fooled. And this Friday is the big game. Okay, I've got to put on something that will be good to work out in. Perfect. And now where's my wig? Dun -da -da -da. Meet Fred. <laughs> Molly, are you in here? <laughs> oh, no. It's Daisy. Molly, I'm coming in. Uh, d no, don't, don't come in. What are you doing in the girls' bathroom? Um, uh, uh. Wait a minute, you look familiar. And I thought my sister was in here. Get out, I'm going party! Okay, fine, but I don't know why you're in the girls' bathroom. You're gonna get in trouble for that. Wait a minute, are you the same one that was in the girls' bathroom yesterday? Who, me? Uh, no, not, no. Okay, you just look familiar. Get out before I poo poo in my pants! Fine! Molly, which stall are you in? Oh, no. Daisy, I'm going potty. Don't come in. Okay, Molly, but then are you going to tell me what your secret is? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. I'm just going to crawl under the stall so my sister doesn't know it was me. Oh, I'm too fat. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, uh. oh, I'm so fat. Why can't it fit under here? Molly, are you okay in there? Do you have to really go poo-poo? Yes, I do. Uh-oh. Uh oh, this isn't good. Oh my gosh. What is going on right now? I am stuck in the wall. This is not good. What am I going to do now? Molly, I'm going to come in because I'm worried about you. Daisy, don't you dare! Daisy! Molly, what are you doing right now? Why are you crawling around in the gross bathroom floor? Um, uh, I, I lost an earring. Yeah, that's it. Oh, boy. Let me help you find it. Nope, got it. I'm good. Molly, what are you doing after school? I'm going to go into the library, and I'm going to do some studying. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm going to do some studying. Uh, don't believe you, Molly. No, I really am. <laughs> I swear it. I'm turning over a new leaf. That's why I don't have detention. That's why I'm just, I'm trying to be a better person, okay? Okay, Molly, if you say so. Now get out of the bathroom. It's very rude to interrupt somebody's personal time. Oh, good, she's gone. All right, now I can go in, turn back into Fred, and hopefully not be late for for my um practice. Perfect. <clears throat> I mean, perfect. La 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 la. Got you. Got me. Who who are you talking about? Wait a minute. You were the one that came out of the girls' bathroom yesterday. What are you in the girls' bathroom for, anyway? Uh, the boys' bathroom is always stinky, so I like going into the girls' bathroom. You look awfully familiar. 
Where's my sister? How am I supposed to know? Uh, because you were in the bathroom too. Um, okay, I'll go look for her. You better not be kidnapping her. Oh my gosh, my sister is so annoying. Okay, fine. I'll turn back into Molly just so I can get rid of her. There you are, Molly. Did you run into that guy who's been hanging out in the girls' bathroom? Huh? What? No, I don't even know what you're talking about. I think you might be imagining things. Molly, I have to tell you something. I think you're acting very peculiar. Did you get a bonk on your head? Daisy, I'm very busy. I'll talk to you later. Oh, my sister's so annoying. I'm going to be late for practice. Molly, we're not done talking. Okay, coach, I'm here. Who are you? Wait a minute. You're the girl that tried out the other day. Oh, oh man. I forgot to change back into my regular Fred clothes. Wait, what? Huh, not, nothing. Did you just say that you were dressed up as Fred? N me? No, I don't know what you're talking about. I knew it. I knew that he wasn't a boy. The, the boy was a girl or whatever. Molly, what are you doing here? No girls are allowed. Seems that your sister's been dressing up as a boy called Fred. I'm very sorry, but you can't be on the team. What? That's just bogus. Like, I'm a great player, and I should be allowed on the team. I'm telling the principal. You should, Molly. You should get the rule changed. Well, I mean, I'm sort of in charge of the rules, so I guess I could change that rule. You should. You even said that I'm a great player, so it should be a co-ed team. Yeah! What my sister said. Now, so you were the person that was the boy in the girls' bathroom? Yeah. I was changing into my Fred costume. I have to say that I tricked everybody. <laughs> Until today. Okay, Fred, or Molly, or whatever your name is, you can be on the team. Hooray! Now watch me make all of these baskets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't like the fact that she's a girl and she's better at me than basketball. Read it and weep, buddy. Read it and weep. <laughs> <laughs> school today well what's new but this is preschool it's not like you're gonna get detention or homework no i know i just i don't want to go if we're late though you might get a time out i don't want to go okay sometimes i just i want to stay home okay molly that's ridiculous you know we have to go here so that mom can work and we can learn lots of good things just i don't feel very good today don't try to fake being sick. Everybody know it's not true. Now come on, before we're late, I want to see all of our friends. Fine, but I'm telling you, my stomach kind of hurts. Oh, why can't I get in? Hello? Let us in! Molly, come on, let's just go into the baby entrance. I'm not a baby anymore. Ugh, my stomach really hurts. Yeah, yeah, Molly, you're faking it. Everybody knows it. I I'm not faking it. I, I, I really don't feel good. Well, why don't you go to the bathroom and try to go poo-poo? That might make you feel better. I don't have to go poo-poo. Ugh, -poo. my sister is so annoying. Just leave me alone, okay? You don't have to believe me. No one asked you to anyway. Oh, no. My stomach is really starting to hurt. Oh, man. I think I do actually have to go potty. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I hope I make it in time. Oh, that's so embarrassing to have an accident. Wait a minute. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm not going to make it to the potty. <laughs> Too late. Uh oh. Oh no. I went poo poo in my pants. Oh. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Well, good morning, Molly. Ew. What's that smell? Uh oh. Did you have an accident? I didn't mean to. I promise. I didn't. <laughs> I I I didn't mean to. It's okay, Molly. It's okay. We'll just we'll just change your pull up and everything will be fine. I promise. Oh, how embarrassing! It's all right. Trust me. Everybody has accidents when they're toddlers. I don't really feel good today. My stomach is really hurting. Oh, that's probably just because you're hungry. It is snack time. Come on, we'll get something to eat. No, oh, I'm telling you, I don't want anything to eat. It sounds really gross. No, you're probably just hungry. Did you know that if you get too hungry, your tummy can actually hurt? Now play with your toy and be good. 
Now, come on, let's eat up. I'm telling you, I don't feel so good. I don't, I don't want to eat that baby food. Ah, oh, la, la, da, 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 da. Molly says she doesn't feel good, but she's a liar. I'm not lying. Oh. Ew! Oh, yuck! You threw up on me! Oh, yuck! They don't pay me enough for this job to have babies throw up on me! Oh, I'm sorry, Taylor. I didn't mean it. Sorry, I didn't mean to freak out. It's just, ew, throw up makes me really grossed out. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? I'm not sure. I don't feel so... <laughs> Ew, now she threw up on me! Ew, she really is sick! Oh my, it looks like we're gonna need to give you a bath, Molly. You're covered in throw up. I don't feel so good. <laughs> I just want my mommy. <laughs> it's okay, we're gonna take you take very good care of you here, Molly, until your mom can come pick you up. Well, good luck. Our mom's at a business meeting today. She probably won't be able to pick us up for hours. Don't say that, Daisy. I want my mom. <laughs> oh, no. Are you going to throw up again? Don't throw up in the tub. Or on me. Oh, yuck. Oh, no. I feel a little better, though, after I threw up so many times. I think you better take a nap, Molly. You're definitely sick with something. Maybe food poisoning or the stomach bug? Can I have something to drink? I feel so thirsty after throwing up so much. Of course you can, sweetie, but I think we should just give you some water and not milk, because milk can make your stomach upset when it already is hurting. I just want my mommy! <laughs> Molly, I promise I'm gonna take good care of you. Okay. I guess I believe you. <laughs> it is not feel good. I know, honey. It's going to be okay. La da da, la da da, la da da da, da da da. It's going to be okay, Molly. I think when you take a nap, you'll feel better when you wake up. I sure hope so. I don't want to throw up anymore. Mm, it seems like you may have gotten it out of your system, sweetie. Now take a nice night night and everything will be okay, I promise. Okay, just just don't swing me around too much because I think I might throw up again. Daisy, what's wrong? I don't feel so good, my stomach hurts. Oh, don't fake it, Daisy. Marley, I'm not faking it. When have I ever ugh, faked anything? You're still faking it. I don't believe that was a real throw up. Marley, I just ugh, threw up twice. What are you talking about? I can't fake that. You probably gave me a stomach bug. What? No, I didn't. I wouldn't do that. Oh my gosh. What's... Ew, gross. Another baby threw up. Oh no. It's the dreaded stomach bug. Dun, dun, dun. We'll all have it. I just know it. Every single parent, caregiver, and child at Twilight Daycare will get this. I don't feel so good. Ugh. Don't worry, Daisy. It only lasts a couple of hours, then it goes away. I'm feeling lots better. I can't believe you gave me a stomach bug. Oh, this is the worst. This is seriously the worst. Uh, hopefully nobody else is throwing up. Is everybody okay? No one's answering. Okay, um, <laughs> I want to slime somebody right now. And tell them that they that I have the stomach bug. Um, uh, let's see, who should I do? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You're about. Oh, I can slime everybody. How much does that cost? Fifty Robux worth it. <laughs> Okay, when's everybody gonna get slimed? When you all get wait, how did you pick me up? I don't want you to pick me up! Stop picking me up! Okay, I paid for everybody to get slimed. And um nobody got slimed. Molly, what exactly are you doing right now? I'm um Oh whoa! 400 Robux? No, no, no. Uh nothing! I'm I'm not doing anything! Uh yeah, no, not not at all. 
Molly, are you back to your old antics of being a prankster? Me? No, not at all. Molly, you just dumped slime on my head. Molly, oh my gosh, you need to go to timeout. You can't give me timeout today. What? Why not? Because I was so sick with the stomach bug. Well, now you seem just fine. So now it's time for timeout. What? Don't you dare take me to baby jail. Don't you dare. Um, baby jail is exactly where you belong. Let me out. This is rude. This can't be happening. Let me out of jail. I don't like this. I want to go home. I want my mommy. I'm warning you, Taylor. You're not going to like what happens next. I want to get out of here. Let me out of time out. This isn't fair. And how did that work out for you, Molly? You're still not going to let me out. This is rude. Ah, I want to get out of here. Let me out. Ah! Molly, you can have more temper tantrums if you like, but then you're going to be in timeout even longer. You're so rude! Why is this happening to me? Ah! I'm not a bad kid, and just because I pranked you and it was kind of funny. Molly, you're going to stay there until you can calm down. I'm never going to calm down! Do I look calm to you? Ah! This is making me so mad! <sighs> <sighs> okay. I think I'm done having a temper tantrum now. <sighs> Okay, Molly, if you think you're done being a prankster and having your temper tantrums, you can come out and rejoin society. Okay, fine. I'll be good. I promise. Sort of. <laughs> Watch this, guys. This is going to be awesome. Purchased. <laughs> Where'd she go? I want to see this. Who just slimed me? Molly, was that you? Mo Molly, come back here. Not a chance, lady. I'm out of here. <laughs> Caught you. Back to timeout for you. No, I want to escape, please. Oh, okay, wait. I, I can't escape. It costs me 50 Robux and I'm poor. Let me, let me out of here. No. Okay, I can break the toilet. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I just found out how you escape. Oh my gosh guys i just found an underground maze what underneath twilight daycare are you kidding me right now where's this go this is insane oh <laughs> oh my gosh i just escaped twilight daycare on baby jail and guys i'm just gonna spend the rest of the day at the beach chilling Without any rolls. This is amazing. I'm having the best day ever. I mean, after I got done having a stomach bug and stuff. Whoa! Look at that rubber ducky! Good thing I just learned how to swim. Rubber ducky, you're so cute! Ooh, and a unicorn? Yes, please! This sounds like my kind of day. <laughs>